हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कामत एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ स्पेशल योग कॉल्ड एज धर्म कर्म अधिपति योग इन वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी ओम क्रीम कालिकाय नमः नाउ धर्म कर्म अधिपति योग इज फॉर्म बाय द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थ्री वर्ड्स धर्मा प्लस कर्मा प्लस अधिपति नाउ व्हाट डज धर्मा मीन धर्मा मीन्स राइटियसनेस स्पिरिचुअलिटी राइट एंड इन द हॉरोस्कोप द नाइन्थ हाउस रिप्रेजेंट्स अवर धर्मा अवर स्पिरिचुअलिटी अवर राइटियसनेस एंड ऑल्सो इट रिप्रेजेंट्स लॉन्ग डिस्टन्स जर्नीज ओके इन द हॉरोस्कोप द टेंथ हाउस रिप्रेजेंट्स द वर्क और द एक्शन्स विच वी डू our karma and our career okay so any combination between the ninth lord and the tenth lord is regarded as highly auspicious and it is a special kind of rajyog which is known as dharma karma adhipati yog now in vedic astrology the houses 1 4 7 and 10 in the horoscope are known as kendras and they are the foundations or the pillars of the horoscope whereas the houses 1 5 and 9 are called as trikonas and they represent highly auspicious houses right so the first house represents yourself the fifth house represents the knowledge okay and the ninth house as i said represents dharma spirituality and it also represents the purva punya which we have accumulated from our past lives so there are three combinations in the horoscope which give rise to dharma karma adhipati yoga adhipati means lord the first combination which gives the dharma karma adhipati yoga is when the ninth lord and the tenth lord are placed together in a kendra or a trikon house that is if the ninth lord and the tenth lord are placed together in houses 1 4 7 10 or houses 1 5 9 it forms dharma karma adhipati yog okay when the ninth lord is placed in the tenth house and when the tenth lord is placed in the ninth house it forms an exchange of houses between the ninth and the tenth lord okay and this exchange is nothing but a highly auspicious parivartan yog which also forms the dharma karma adhipati yog so this is the second combination which gives dharma karma adhipati yog the third combination which gives dharma karma adhipati yog is when the ninth lord and the tenth lord are looking at each other that is they are aspecting each other and both are well placed or strong in the horoscope now we will see each of these combinations with practical examples in the coming slides before we proceed further into the examples let us understand the significance of this yog and what exactly this yog implies in our horoscope so first thing is there is a relationship between the ninth lord and the tenth lord okay the ninth lord represents dharma the tenth lord represents our karma okay so what this means is this person's karma or work will be associated with dharma spirituality and righteousness okay so this person will be a highly righteous guru okay and his work or his karma will be to teach dharma righteousness okay spirituality and people will follow this person wholeheartedly it will not be a forced teaching okay people will love to follow this person since the ninth house represents long distance journeys okay and the tenth house represents our karma and since both the ninth and the tenth lord are forming a relationship it also means this person will travel to long distance places to spread dharma okay and since this person is a highly righteous person okay the work which he will do will always be for the benefit of society because of his righteousness he will achieve wide name and fame okay i am assuming here there are no other malefic combinations in the horoscope which adversely impact the horoscope okay now even in lord ram's kundali 
this dharma karma adhipati yog was there and that is why he is also known as maryada purushottam okay so ram was very famous though his life was very tough okay and he always adhered to the religious principles he always adhered to righteousness and he was a very just ruler so this was because of dharma karma adhipati so what this means is we have a person who is very high on moral values and who is also a right and just ruler now let us take the first example so if you see this horoscope the person is born with dhanu lagna that is the sign of dhanu is his first house okay which is represented by asc or lagna here okay so the ninth house is the sign of leo which is ruled by the sun and the 10th house is the sign of virgo which is ruled by mercury or so in this case you can see the 9th lord sun or surya is placed in the 10th house along with the 10th lord budh so the 9th lord is placed in the 10th house with the 10th lord that is surya and budha are placed together in the 10th house 10th house is also a kendra house and so this forms what is called as dharma karma adhipati yog okay so this person will be highly righteous high on moral values and a highly intelligent person okay so his karma will involve righteous work okay spreading dharma and this person will mostly be associated with some kind of commerce or mathematical line because mercury or budh represents mathematics and sun represents administration or authority okay so with this authority and with this knowledge this person will be spreading dharma and righteousness okay his karma will be associated with spreading righteousness and moral values so this is the first kind of dharma karma adhipati yog formed by the conjunction of the 9th and the 10th lord in this case in the 10th house let us look at the second example wherein this dharma karma adhipati yog is formed by the exchange of houses between the 9th lord and the 10th lord okay that is the 9th lord surya is placed in the 10th house and the 10th lord budh is placed in the 9th house okay so it is a parivartan yog between the 9th and the 10th lord okay and this is a highly auspicious raj yog again resulting in dharma karma adhipati yog through mutual exchange of houses between the 9th lord and the 10th lord okay so this is the second type of dharma karma adhipati yog the results will be the same as observed in the first example again note this is also the exchange between a kendra lord and a trikon lord okay the 9th house is called as trikon house the 10th house is a kendra house so their lords have exchanged the houses okay so this is an exchange between a kendra and a trikon lord which is also very highly auspicious and forms the dharma karma adhipati yog now my contact details are given in this slide for any queries email us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com you can also visit our website astroseva.tripod.com or download our application from google play store called as kamat astrology so guys thanks a lot hope to see you soon with another video bye see you soon shortly